Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Paulata. And I'm Arnold. And today we're back again with our stories. Yes, hoping you're not bored. So today we're going to talk about part six of this love story where we talk about the baby. Not really the baby. The pregnancy. Okay. Yes, <laughs> the pregnancy journey. So these are some of the things that we got to experience, some wrong decisions we made and some things that we came to find out later than earlier. So we hope you can get something from this. Yeah, and as usual, watch till the end. <sighs> so, but one. This is where I was so uncertain. Um, it was like um, after my, tw my 28 days are passed and I was expecting my visitors, but they never came or they never showed around or whatever. So, um, for the first week, the first week past the 28 days, I, I went and talked to Arnold and I was like, Arnold, see you again, you angu. Uh, then it looks so relaxed. Uh, I know they'll come. Mm -hmm. Apparently, yeah, who can I But me, I was scared to death. <laughs> so I can't even be aware of what I'm going to do with Kapili. So I can't go to do with Kapili, Kaisha. Still no sign of anything. But why don't you look on a man? Be a bit patient. Mm. They might come. Actually, uh, the second week will insist in India for a test for a scan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but at that stage. It was not showing anything at all. It was just showing thickness all around. So the doctor could not tell if there was anything or not. So he had to wait for like another two weeks. So that was a month now. Okay. Some months later, another can you push? Yeah, you, you need to go to, for that test right now. <clears throat> so I, I went for the test. <laughs> and apparently on that day, he was coming to pick me from work. Yeah, so I already had the news. The, the baby was there, so hmm, when he came, he asked me the question, and I gave him some papers we were supposed to go through. Yeah. Actually, actually, like I'm going to video, yeah, a scan. Na, ni kama mi misi kunga na shikanisha. Definitely, I've never seen a video scan here. Mm. In total. Yes. Mm. And so, the liquid is a sort and what are the results? Mm. Mm -hmm. Someone come on, be a wee, wee, and a look, a look up on the baby in total. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, I was, I was so scared about the whole of this situation because it was my first time. Nelewa. It was my first time and it came so unexpected. So I mean, so, I mean it's like I was not shocked. Because mm. the first time for a lot of time I was in Jakuja, I developed so many thoughts. But then, of course, I was mm. like, what's the worst that will happen? Mm. So the second week as Jakuja, so I was like, I was So I was for a lot of time I was the results. The answer is that I was so much surprised, but I had to show her that I was strong for us and that everything was okay and that this was the journey and yet to get travel for mm. So I'm glad you said that because me at first I was going to show you who you are, you are going to be a daughter. I was going to be a daughter, I was going to be a daughter, I was going to be a daughter. Hakuna mtu alinishikilia hiyo time vile alinishikilia. So we had to come up with the way mm. ya ku break the news to our parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So far, how did you do? <laughs> Actually, you're the first one who brought the news to your mom. But I think we'll want to listen to our isn't it? Mm-hmm. Uh, initially, after Sukada, I know that I was a So I, I used to go to my mom. <laughs> my mom there. So mom. Mm. Um, which is the best hospital ya mtu kwenda clinic. Mm. So my mom had the 
Alikuwa na react aje. Anashanga kwa hana ulikuwa ni nanuliza hizi maswali. Eh mbona mbona sasa. Eh kuni 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 kuna shida. Mm. Sasa nikwambia hapana. Mm. Wataka tu kujua tu. Kuni libe kujua. Mm. Mm. Kamuliza mara ya kwanza, mara ya pili. And then you brought the news to her. So yeah, mara tatu niliamua kumwambia nikamwambia well tuna tuna expect a visit na the reason why na ulizi hospital ni cause we might be needing the services yeah the services ya hospital mm. for fau yeah mm, mm. so my mama alikuwa alijua lakini bado nikawa pia she needed time to process the information yeah yeah so nikawa pia yeye hakuwa hakuamini mm, mm. so later on do nilikuja kwa mimi mm. after the management of our first clinic Yes. Actually, he ended up to suggest theater house is a grand. Oh, after on uh a while back, mm. nilikuwa ni memorize hospitals and yet the best hospitals. Mm. Yeah, clinic. So she was reluctant to come. Yes, yes, yes. But true. then after ni mwambie we were expectant, at the next day, I'll kwanga na a list of hospitals <laughs> that we could we could try out to anga then again in get to favor. Mm. Mm. So what happened on your side? So on my side I mean ili nilishikilia shikilia habari kidogo because I was still scared because <laughs> obviously to reaction ya yeah, the other party ndo inakwanga stress but apparently it's like you know mothers can sense these things so apparently it's like my mom had sensed it na alikuwa tu anangoja nimwambie but I took time because I was so scared kumbe anajua <laughs> and that reminds me that sometimes tunaweza kuwa tuna feature our so much so many things from our parents mm. and deep inside wanajua mm. they know what they, wanajua at least to wana sense unajua mm-hmm. eh. so maybe the earlier you break the news to them the, the earlier the better yes the better and the earlier when anza kusaidia yes. if you're in a difficult situation mm. yeah so if you're there uh, you know what to do yeah, yeah. usi <laughs> <laughs> usi ogope tu by the if ina kuzuia nga kufanya vitu mingi sana Mm. Now sometimes um especially for first time moms unapata nga you don't have a lot of knowledge now the only person who can give you that knowledge for free is your mom maybe apart from zile za shule ama husi your mom ni mtu asha experience hizi vitu so they are in a position to advise you in a certain way ama anakuambia you have to go to that clinic so sometimes ukificha hii story you waste a lot of time which can cost you a lot of things uko mbele Now apparently it does not necessarily have to be your mom. Mm. Maybe your mom Hayuko. Mm. So you have maybe you have a close friend, mm. an aunt when you never open up to them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They can they can come in handy at that time. Mm. So next I had to find a way I could break the news to my dad. Mm. I was not sure how and he react. I was a bit scared too. Mm. So if you ever find yourself in um, a my situation you might use Uh, but the name it to me mm. <laughs> so nilikuwa nilijaribu ku imagine how my dad would react nikimwambia face to face mm. so i imagined everything all kinds of situation mm. so nili end up to come up na a way in nilikuwa na job at the time in documentation eh mm. everything it got processed mm. so i called my dad to come to know the situation as it was na I said I look for time. Mm. I go and see him. Mm. We have a conversation, a man to man talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how I broke the news to my dad. By the time to meet, mm. uh, I looked at the process. Mm. Uh, kama ni maswali ya kuuliza alikwanga nazo. Mimi nilikuwa nasha prepare vile nitajibu maswali. Mm. So everything worked out well. Ali will accept. Yeah, my dad accepted of course. Hi <laughs> <laughs> so tuka tukaendelea na kusukuma hili gurudumu la maisha until covid came. So I think this was the story that we didn't uh, touch on yesterday. For later was in a situation ship. <laughs> this was the situation. No, it was just a situation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So covid imekuja na imekuja na masaibu yake ndio kazi tumesimamishwa and the reason they gave was that 
I was putting they our they were putting my life at risk now the life of baby at risk so I had to choose between getting the job I'm putting my life at risk of which sisi tulikuwa wawili and ni kama health yake ilikuwa nga health yake ilikuwa compromised a little it was not as strong as ni kama uko peke yako you are stronger by the moment you are pregnant immunity yako inakuwa suppressed yeah, so yeah. it is not as strong as mm. it used to be so due to covid na hakukuwa na job ile watai handle unakuwa unaona if i'm exposed itakuwa shida so that's why they had to let me go Oh, at first yes nilikuwa na hiyo hasira why me why this why that but then again i came to understand later on but who is it jua labda i would be one of those people when you angeshikwa na hiyo covid na maybe things would have been worse yeah so bado pia nakumbuka your time you were sad mm. you were frustrated because this time you were ndo uko unahitaji your job sana mm. and this is the time that you may put yeah yeah so at times things are happening in our lives mm. and we focus so much on the negative side true, true. we don't take time to to meditate on really what could be the positive side of the situation yeah, exactly. yeah? Mm. like for for later mm. alipoteza job yes mm. but at the end of the day mm. uh, those people were concerned about her health mm. yeah yeah So later on to look at that career lies yes maybe things would have gotten worse mm. kama for that and kama baki ya hapo yeah 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 ah <sighs> so apart from losing the job i think we 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 learned some ways on how to survive during that time tulianzisha routines <laughs> like sasa ndio niko home and all the i think sometimes i'll come after some time home to create routines za kufanya exercise at least to keep us busy na pia to make sure that she was fit because mm, the journey which she was about to try ilikuwa na milima sije kama bonde zilikuwa so we had a morning routine yeah na pia ilikuwa inanisaidia ju sometimes nikishinda kwa nyumba nimelala and i have all these thoughts to myself na jua the moment i got to walk outside i got to get some fresh air which was so important na pia kuna vile tu una unwind sometimes when you get those walks you also get to open up so to look to find ways that could deal with some of the situations we were facing at the time plus i am sure you have heard of stories that uh, for an expectant woman mm-hmm. uh, and a an exercise mm-hmm. so in a way they say that it prepares the way the way for the baby yeah sije kama it's true i mean it's theory sije for a time back i talk to her for her So this covid also um I mentioned something about uh, leadership in church yesterday. So it was a tough moment for me as I said when I left job I thought that I would dedicate all my time to serving God. So it time to peer gonna get church for those people who knew washa sambaza maneno and I, I was just feeling like I was being judged all over and it didn't feel good as much as i had done something wrong in human eyes i'm also human and i have feelings so whatever negative thing people used to say or how they used to react it really affected me in a big way at that time now so if my my status is not right when asemanga pia it usually affects the status of the baby mm-hmm. so after a few weeks i think ndio church kukakuwa na pia church zilifungwa sio kulikuwa lockdown ya the churches there yeah. yeah so up on the same i got some rest so covid affected me in a negative way but this one somehow me nilion it was positive for me ju vile ilifungwa ndio hiyo nikarudi home nikaanza tu kujifikiria na nikaanza kufikiria how can i get myself out of this situation how can i get back to my knees once again yeah after all this passes end so it reminds me that maybe a person might be going through a situation mm. You don't know what they're dealing with. Mm. But you are on the forefront to talk about this person. Mm. Yeah. I think it will be wise if you took some time to think what might be going on with that person. Yeah, in the person's mind. Emma, yeah. you just put yourself in that person's shoe. What if it was you? Yeah, so I went through some difficult moment, but I thank God. I was able to overcome 
saa zingine hata anakaa na siamini but the good thing was that when you're out there when you're interacting with people you just show that smiley face and all but watu hawajui kenye unapitia zile machungu and there were so many thoughts also running through my mind negative thoughts zenye aziku kwa mzuri but nashukuru mungu we made it through so let's leave alone the negative part of the story yes uh, so in the second point time was moving fast mm-hmm. and we had to start searching for a clinic yes yeah mm-hmm. so um, there are many benefits za kwanza your clinics the moment una umejua you are expectant mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. The many benefits mm. za kwanza clinic the mm. moment umejua you are expectant mm. so, so to educate kidogo miss daktari sita wa educate but i think ladies kama unajua ama kama haujui kuna hizi tembe zenye mse huwa anafaa kupewa zinasaidia in baby's development There are also some injections. I think kwanza tunahunga tete na sio shindano ni chungu. Kuna kuna some injections that you're supposed to get na all of these things go a long way in helping your baby na kum protect pia. Mhm. Yeah, apart from that kuna pia checkups, kuna tests zenye mtu anafaa kufanywa. So it's really important the moment you know you're going to get ama you, you already have, it's really good to visit a hospital. Yeah. Yeah, yeah to get more information. Yeah. Otherwise, we spoke on easy pills and ask it and then just the life of the baby is it true yeah it's true mhm mm-hmm. mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. uh, pia tulipimwa hiv tukapimwa st eyes mhm eto mwenda mbali wewe acha kwanza tulienda kutafuta hosi so the first day tulienda kutafuta hosi we got we went to four hospitals like the private hospitals mm-hmm. The reason why we chose those private hospitals was first of all sikuwa na hii time ya kwenda kwa the public hospitals dulko napata sana sana ni weekdays for their clinics so it was a challenge ah tukamwa tutaenda the the private the pub, ones the, the private yeah. yeah so the first private hospital to lienda hey, it was like to just a small clinic but mimi ni shay sikai kwa na sikwa place nyingine so when we visited this one eh hey, there was no movement when him to a reception peke ndo alikuwa hosi hakuna hata wagonjwa kwa hiyo hosi so ai gambia no ndio hosi ni hosi kweli alafu they they gave us like a hey, a very expensive bill then it really it was not worth it mm-hmm. na pia we had our question mark so ah, tukachana na hiyo hatukuridhika conscious ilikata Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you went to an, a second one. Mm-hmm. The second one the receptionist didn't have information. Yeye anatuambia tu daktari ayuko sijui kujeni hii siku daktari ameenda. Ai, ameenda church. Tukaanza na hiyo story sasa. So we went to a third one. A third one he it was so expensive. Wanatuitisha uh, the, these medical insurance cards card kwa nazo mm-hmm. otherwise if you have to pay cash it was even more expensive. Yeah. We gave up that option but and we were also giving up that day. Mm-hmm. Then we got a fourth option in Nepal, it was expensive but not as expensive as the third one. Mhm. Na atusema tu hatukuridhika. Cuz we felt like it's a way when I said they were so expensive. Ah uh, so sa after mom Arnold ali to let her list we finally settled for for one. Mhm. Yeah. Na ilikuwa private pia. Ilikuwa private so bad, yeah. Mhm. But it looked reasonable. Mm. Yeah. At least uko ukienda unaona wagonjwa. Yaani there was movement of people walikuwa na pharmacy yao hapo ndani. Mm-hmm. Like there was movement, there was life na tasema haja hata madaktari walikuwa unapata wako very active na they were willing to to educate you on these matters. So as we were looking for a hospital, mm. there were some things that I was trying to put into consideration. Mm. First ni kuna jaribu kuangalia the distance mm, from home to from home to the hospital mm. secondly um, kama kuna ambulance just in case kuna emergency mm. ama we need them we need to call them mm. that line ni kuangalia kama kuna maternity services mm. do they do the delivery mm. yeah mm. so those are some of the things ni kuangalia na consider mm. yeah. So we finally settled for this particular private hospital because ni kuangalia na kila kitu ni kuangalia na kila kitu alafu <laughs> Um acha tusonge mbele kiasi kulikuwa na this time I was about to deliver like two months or one month to the time. 
So to answer qualities, not even that. We had actually started preparing even earlier because mm -hmm. they told us they have NHIF cards. Now during delivery, you can you can pay with that. Mm -hmm. So to kind of, uh, that was a cheaper option for us, and we did a mistake because um, when they told us about the NHIF, we knew we were finally sorted. Now to settle for that hospital, he NHIF to liko to nalipia, alafu tulikuwa tume save up some cash mm -hmm. so these people walituambia tu sisi tukiwa na the NHIF card itasimamia kila kitu yeah. so the cash that we had we used it for some other things mm -hmm. that was the mistake that we did because atuko consider kuna parts zenye kuna konga na emergencies mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so apparently one month down the line Arnold akasema eh hey, hii story ni HIF I let us just confirm I was going for my last clinic mm -hmm. I saw kwenda kwa kujia au madaktari and I said, Wakanza could say, Mao and HIF at a sassy here to chukui this time. To do on the issues, the issues, and he said, Pacas to Nashinda, Mama, you were similar to Mpiam Kona and HIF. Munachuku and HIF, just as you send up your Casam. Ah, there's another option, don't worry. The other option was their sister hospital, and it was in another location, so it was further from home. Apart from that, he'll come out to me, he's going to scandal mob. Yeah, it had so many scandals. Na in a Julikana Vizuri, eh, so we got really, really scared. To Casama, we cannot risk. <sighs> so we had to go back to the drawing board. Mm. We had to look for another hospital. Mm. The same services. Yeah? Mm. Now, the, this one was quite unique. So, all through, I've been talking about just private hospitals. Yeah, we had to, to switch our option to a public one. So, Actually, search, actually yeah. one of my cousins I did to suggest here. Mm. We had never thought of going to a public hospital. Because mm. apparently if you look at my escape story, there are public hospitals mm. about who are neglected, about everybody for himself. Mm. Let him in a, almost the one who just could me. So we had never put anything in a public hospital into consideration. Na by the way, tuna honga tuna negative attitude. So this year, our search started in Westlands. Mm -hmm. We started in Westlands, narrowing down to Makadara, and finally we went to... To Kayole. Yes, to Kayole. So we met at the first time, we were scared to go to Kayole and we choke. Not in a bad way, but we were associated with the, the, the surrounding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But when we got there, hey, actually we were so surprised. Because after this facility, it's like it was better than the ones we had visited before. It was a doctor, fully packed. Services to Lihoji Hoji, Hapa Napale, and we got a lot of information. So finally, we settled for that. Yeah, we truly summer. This is the best hospital. But they will come and it can't be quite better than the private hospital again to look at a Machago initially. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. everything was happening systematically. Mm -hmm. Maybe connecting may come up now, and I could prevent something else from happening. Mm -hmm. So, like for a lot of time, most times, you know, public uh, government hospitals are. Uh, a bad name, mm. yeah. Mm. But in this case, the hospital was good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now that also tells us that sometimes, maybe during this time, you get a lot of friends, you get a lot of advice. But sometimes it's good if you can, if you can, you should always do your own background check. Who are in a idea, sana? Because you can be told this. No, okay, no, come below, but I, come haiko ivo. So it's good. It's good to do your own research. Na pia, the earlier you start, the better for you. How to go on last minute stress up and up early. By the way, um, kuna hizi clinics zeni tulipa tunayenda. Arnold went for all those clinics. Because the first time tulipa tunayenda na ee after the tests that were done, apparently ali, kuna vile madaktari wali tuongelesha and they got to advise us on different things. Na li nisaidia sana kwa mimi, at that time nilikuwa na memory loss hata. Nezambi wa kitu ama nezambi wa nimezehida wa I used to forget. Na siya tigile kuforget ya kupenda the situation at hand. I kukua. So pregnancy neza affect mtu differently. Apparently if I were like on a memory loss. Too bad. Nilu kwa nangu mbe kitu isa easy and after 30 minutes. Na hiku kwa kupenda so. Yeah. I think alinielewa na alini saidia sana during that time. So. Ma'am, <laughs> if you can and if you're in a position to to go with your significant other to a hospital, it's, it's always a good move. You also get educated on so many things. So guys, support mm. your ladies. Mm. Yeah, mm. Anytime they need us the most. Mm. I think this 
is the time when you pay you him say dear she always live to remember mm. yeah so the baby hey, so the baby so ikafika tunakaribia siku za mwisho mwisho um apparently the zile scans nilienda eh uh, zilikuwa very very accurate so it's also important to okay, kembea daktari you go for scanning it's always good to get this information cuz who has nasaidia at least hata kama ni estimation unajuanga ni around what time so mine were very accurate mhm so kuna siku tu siku zilianzanga mhm uchungu like you can't sleep at all at all at all so one of the alikuwa namka Actually na kumwambia nilikuwa alikuwa the pains were there mm. na I could feel her ni kama nilikuwa So I used to feel like I'm the one who was going through the pain mm. na kumwambia kuna time ilikuwa na msugo mgongo mm. mm. na jipata nimelala the whole thing Najiri msia na sisi na ni ajabu Ndio style style na mimi siwezi yani mimi si niko na usingizi lakini siwezi lala cuz the pain is just unbearable I'm sorry. So <laughs> Sasa for like a whole week ilifanyika hivyo. Eh so kuna siku tu ilikuwa tu so unbearable. Mm. Eh, woke up tukashawa and everything we had our breakfast tukamua ah leo acha we go for a check up. So kufika hosi hey, daktari kunipima nayo. Ananiambia vile sijui nime nime dilate 1 cm na nafaa kuenda sijui like 10 cm kwanza ananipimia I was so discouraged. Na mimi ile ile uchungu nasikia. So so tutambie vile vile story ya maji litoka. So okay, after daktari kunipima ladies know that process. Um tulirudi home. But since that day apparently kuna some some sort of fluid nilianza ku kutoka tu. Ilikuwa inatoka so like the whole day tu pale pale kidogo kidogo. Eh me it was my first time so i was not really sure what was going on tunambiwanga there's a certain fluid when i talk at some point i can't remember mm-hmm. <coughs> excuse me so me i thought it was that but sasa hii yangu ilikuja for some days i didn't know what it was but nilikuwa najua it's in preparation the way so to call like three days later after ku visit daktari wa daktari alitudisha nyumbani so three days later karudi uh, tukarudi hosi apparently nakumbuka hii time kulikuwa na curfew ya yeah, ilikuwa inaanza 7 pm so hii ni around 6 na nilikuwa na feel pain nyingine yenye siwezi eleza nikaambia Arnold pa vile ninaona afadhali tu nipeleke at least nifanyiwe check up But what we didn't have in mind as is niyeti ni tenda kubaki hosi. Mimi nilijua tu it's like a normal check up bila tu tulienda ile nyingine nikarudishwa. Na daktari alimwambia by then nirudi kitu mande. So this was like around Saturday. So tukaenda. Na kuna kwanga na this thing in your number one you should always have your bag prepared. Huwezi jua mali kitu itakupata. Should always pack your things in readiness. So tulikuwa na bag tumejipanga kabisa but we didn't actually go with it. Jisi tulikuwa tunajua tini tarudi home. Tukaenda tukafika daktari hanichukua. The moment tu alinipima akasema wewe hakuna mali unaenda. Eh by saa nane usiku tutakuwa tushamaliza na hii story. Actually before watu wanapeleka nyama kidogo. Mm. Uh, for lot of limpeleka hosi. Mm. Na it was just for a random check up. Yeah yeah. So tulikuwa tunajua tukitoka 6 by around 7 8 tutakuwa tumerudi. Mm cause coffee will be 10 at 10 so for later to make a house 6 seven ikapita eight kafika nine ikafika and towards 10 nili anza kuwa worried mm. cause siko nipata any feedback sio ni for later kitoka and i was so scared kumke yote mata i had to call my dad nikamwambia niko hosi mm. just in case anything happens Oh jo the last place nilikuwa ilikuwa hosi. Mm. So for later came and told me that apparently the doctor misema she's almost due. Mm. Na she's she'll have to be left behind. Mm. So mimi lazima ni the home because they don't allow me in there. Mm. So before for later came I experienced something which I don't ever want to to experience way for the four hours I was there. Mm. Ninge people screaming 
mm-hmm. yeah I guess you need maternity ward so you expect those kind of screams but <laughs> what I had that day ah I should really back in your bar need to so scary scary to be my earphones yes to scary mm. but then I had to go home mm. each time I to jabeba the vitu za mtoi yeah mm. like uh on lazima uko na cotton a baby blanket some diaper sizo mm. zote mm. hatikuwa tumebeba so i had to go home na the next day nirudi hosi around 5 am your time for lot alikuwa anga ame project hata kwa mesha deliver mm. so they had to doctor did not take a note mm. akani be in case upatane na madarao <laughs> Mm. Ukiwa mbali inua tu hiyo karatasi wabie uko na permit ya hosi. Mm. And fortunately sikupatana na karao nilichukua uh, motorbike nikafika home and I had to call the same guy at the, ne- the following day in the morning. Mm. So on to the next day uh nilienda hosi na unfortunately Skabado the baby was not had not yet come mm. so for later what were you going through i was just going through pain i was not thinking i was just in pain because i remember i was ca- i was calling you but you called him to pick my call hata kilengwe kukuwa kwa simu in fact simu nilikuwa naacha huko kama mtu anataka kuiba aibe at that time you don't care about anything and you're not feeling anything else apart from the pain so sometimes nilikuwa tunatumia music in a suit but when time it becomes overwhelming you have to walk around wanasema pia nasaidia mtoto kuteremka so it's, it was just a painful experience but it was nice experiencing it it's one of the suitcases that we let walikuwa nakuja okay so apparently the, the first time we nipeleka niliekwa into a room with other first time mothers so see tukaambia tukae hapo tukisikia uchungu tuite daktari <laughs> So this is at what to know the level of uchungu yenye tunafaa ku feel because already when you went to the hospital ulikuwa na scare na hisi uchungu unaona mm-hmm. so tumekaa uko for long na daktari si tulikuwa tunajua daktari ana communicate na nyinyi kumbe ni kama eh. ali ali take long sana mm-hmm. ah, so this is tuko tu kwenye uchungu 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 ah mimi nikashindwa daktari akakuja kanita at some point kanitenganisha na wengine sasa si ndio kunipima akasema mm-hmm. ah wewe wewe unabaki ndaka kuja kukuambia so kuna hiyo time alikuja uh, alikuwa amesema okay alienda tena after all those stories wao shaenda nini mm-hmm. tumebaki hapo ladies tunapiga story tunaumia tunapiga story daktari akakuja kuniita kanitenganisha nao wengine mm-hmm. so hapo kuniita alikuwa anasema kuna sometimes unaweza unaweza saidia in this process kuna ile wanaweza toboa maji kuna ile ya kuinduciwa mm-hmm. So the tell comes to me ah what's any good toboe maji so that to to hasten the process when you want to talk over karibu kabisa So eh daktari akachukua i think there there's a certain kind of pin that they use So amechukua amechukua anataka kutoboa maji Do you know alijaribu but something was just not working anajaribu kuguza jaribu kuguza there was just a problem so me hakuniambia anything at that time so you remember that time i told you that kuna two fluid ilikuwa inatoka inatoka pole pole so like the first doctor kid akinipima ni kama maji litoboka but hatukujua so daktari akataka kutoboa maji ndo ana realize hakuna maji so nikapelekwa kwa room nyingine wale watu wote niliacha huko eh walikuwa tu hapo kwa shida zao ni nini i don't know what happened to them but the next day tukiamka they all had given birth mimi bado niko i'm telling you <laughs> i suffered <laughs> so I, i had another whole day to walk around nini nini au watu wenye hata walikuja nyuma yao nilikuja nao they gave birth na wanapelekwa to an, a different world wengine tena wakakuja nyuma yao the same process so mpaka mimi nikaanza kuuliza mungu kwani is there is there a problem with me am i is there something wrong so kuna pata earlier the doctor alikuwa anakuja there's this thing in you alikuwa anatumia ku kusikia nika heart beat ya mtoto. Mm-hmm. At first alikuwa anaitumia unasikia vu 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 like it, it produces a certain sound. I thought nilikuwa confident ah baby is alive baby is alive. So pia as I go on ulikuwa unapata my pregnancy was very challenging. 
ikifika ni wakati wa kula i used to remove everything so at that time unaambiwa kula 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 because you need the strength in you when you have to push so me i was trying breakfast nimepewa nimekata unakula inatoka hata ukikula kidogo inatoka plus eh, it was painful ha, lunch na letter the same process unatamani chakula kabisa but the moment tunaingiza kwa mdomo the same thing happens usiku the same same thing happens so una imagine nimekuwa nikitembea the whole day na since the previous day pia siku la sapa the whole day nimeshinda nja huku unatembea all the way round it's like you don't have energy at all so mshana tukabembeleza madaktari at least to induce okay we, we always hear some stories that ukitobolewa majabo can induce it adds a lot of pain but at this at this point nilikuwa ni feel a lot of pain ile nye afadhali tu sasa tawe induce you feel your pain mara moja na it okay because people were coming and they were leaving me there they were coming and they were leaving me there so <coughs> Finally kuna daktari walikuwa anakuja shift ya jioni. So this is the next day jioni. Wakaamua wacha watu induce. Mimi kuinduciwa some other people mimi naona tu hao. Hao wanatoa wakienda, wanatoa wakienda. I'm still there. So my process was quite different than the others but I made it through. Finally the next day, the next morning, I I was able to give birth to baby. Oh. There, there were some details but <laughs> there were some very very painful details but kama tuliweza ai hakuna mtu hawezi so i remember mm. umeka saturday mm. umeka sunday mm-hmm. then that night mm. sunday night nilikuwa jaribu ku call mm. so i remember that sunday nilikuwa mm. jaribu ku call mm. and you are not picking my calls mm. the it was around midnight uh, sunday midnight mm. so nikaamua acha njaribu ku call tena mm, mm. you niambie vile progress iko juna kumkeni ilikuwa persistent ni kana ilikuwa na call after every 10 minutes 10 minutes of peak mm. so but we didn't give up so kuna time ile ku call and you lishika mm. katambia eh uh-huh. the baby is here with us sasa yes, yeah. nilipata nguvu and the whole world changed nilipata nguvu sasa mimi and i could not hide the excitement mm. so immediately i had to call my parents mm. and they were awake mm. it's like they were in this journey with me mm. yeah mm. i believe they were also praying with me mm. na at that moment i ningis get to fly it came a jack on you yeah so ladies kuna kitu kingine hatujoangi mimi nilikuwa nafua chakula zinatoka 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 so i didn't even have snacks do you know that there was no need to have any we after I'm toto atoke my friend it's like things totally change ile nja mtu anasikia you can't even sleep ni nja tu but you can't even sleep so kulikuwa na nja hiyo usiku mwembo sasa uende upumzike after cleaning up later on unaletea your baby lakini uko na nja hadi unatetemeka na that time pia you been told you that you have to start breastfeeding your baby mm-hmm. kama maziwa natoka ama kama maziwa haitoki so that wazoe kuvuta ndio kutoka kitu kama hiyo so mimi nilikuwa nasikia nja Arnold tunasema kanikola kanilizo sasa tufanyaje tukulete nini at that time yeah, alikuwa msweet ndet <laughs> nilikuwa <laughs> <laughs> nilikuwa na leta tu vitu nataka so the next day they came to the hospital pamoja na tasema ni kazi na my aunt oh, it was my my cousin mm. so my cousin yeah. mm. so we had brought some goodies na walikuwa nafikiri tu wana drop wanaenda so apparently doctor he broke the good news to them na kambia ah we can go home eh hey, mtu alikuwa amefurahi <laughs> mtu alikuwa amefurahi sana 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 so i think too from that moment everything changed yeah utajua sometimes ata if you have something bad and it really turns out to be good like maybe a bad situation that really turns out to be good it changes your world forever and for me Baby Mbua has done that in so many ways and I'm forever grateful to God that I was able to go through that journey I was able to make it and right now I can stand tall and talk about it So there are many there are many many stories on the aftermath of uh, the delivery mm. 
how we coped the baby for oh, later was in pain <laughs> and I had to do all the work mm. so uh, in another video you'll we'll get to know how we dealt with those challenges mm. financially how we overcame all kinds of challenges that were coming our way mm. uh, did we find a uh, house help or did we manage by ourselves mm -hmm. you'll find all, all those questions will be answered in the video which it will come up later so guys i think there's so much to talk about this journey but that that is just a summary imagine it's not even the full story it's just a summary and i'm, I'm glad i could get this off my chest and i've been carrying it on for so long and i'm thankful for your support on this you've always been here with me hey it's been a journey so guys we just hope that through these stories you're going to learn more on how you're going to prepare yourself when you reach to that point mm. uh, we hope it's an inspiration to you mm. yeah mm. so continue uh, supporting us continue subscribing so that you may continue creating more uh, interesting uh, real videos mm. yeah atuja ongeza chumvi atuja subtract anything mm. but for the sake of this video mm. we are stuck with a long sana mm. so allow us to to call it a day and say bye bye until next time Doodles.